Hey guys, so today I'm going to be demonstrating usage of themes in Kaledi 2.4, which is a new feature um, that allows you to have power to kind of make your website look like, not like this. <laughs> Anyways, um, as you can see, this is a basic theme based off Bootstrap 4. Um, here are some screenshots, as you can see, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have Heroku Tool Belt downloaded on your computer. Once you've downloaded that, you can type in Heroku Login, and then you can log into your Heroku account from there. Next, you want to be able to clone your server. And in order to do that, all you have to do is type in Heroku space git colon, git colon clone dash a, and then the name of your server. Um, or the repository on Heroku. Once you've done that, it will clone itself and create a folder. You can change the directory into the folder. And then if we clear this, as you can see, this is what a standard keybot server will look like. One thing that will stand out is when you download the themes, you will have a folder called custom. Now we want to add a folder called custom to our server. In order for us to do that, there's two different ways. You can either download this as a zip, and obviously I'll have the link to this in the description, or we can just use git to clone it. We're going to use git in this example. Um, all you have to do is type in git clone, then the URL. But we're going to add something else. We're going to add custom because we want a folder called custom. You could go through and rename um, the folder to custom, but this is a lot easier. Like that. We have it in, but we want to do one last thing. We want to go into this folder, and the reason why is we want to get rid of the git attachment um, on here. Obviously, this is a git repository. In order to do this, all you have to do is type in rm rf git, and we've gotten rid of that. And we can go back, and as you can see, we have our custom folder. And it is as simple to upload as you just can make a commit. And it will upload itself to Heroku and the changes will be made on your site in usually about a minute or so. Um, what it will do is it will install the different dependencies and all that jazz. Um, while that's doing that, I'm going to talk a little more about some of the features here. Some of the features here, um, you can have custom assets, images, JavaScript, anything. Um, practically, it's a website and you have the power to pretty much make it to whatever you're trying to tailor towards. Um, here we have our pages directory and these are very important to have. So you want to have these and, uh, from there it is pretty much like standard HTML with its own spizzazz but as you can see that was some of the CSS and the JavaScript we had in that assets folder I was talking about um, you can actually take a look at the code the code is open source and you do have the ability to edit customize this as you please um, so if you go back and we can actually check um, our server has been updated so what we can do is we can go back on the site and we can just refresh there you go we have a completely new site <laughs> um, here um, as you can see this is uh, some real-time use of the screenshots I'd showed you sh shown you and uh, we'll use this key right here to redeem it and take a look at the dashboard and as you can see you have the ability to pretty much do everything you were able to do in the past um, just with a little more style anyways um, if you guys have any more questions be sure to email me or hit me up on discord i will have that in the description and have a great day